Welcome to the lesson on 11.1, .1, Radical Expressions and Rational Exponents. So the main question that we're going to be dealing with is how are rational exponents related to radicals and roots? So we note that the a is the nth root of number b if we know that a to the n is a b. So what we're saying is that the nth root is sort of like an inverse relationship to the square, right? So square root, in the past we've denoted uh, by that, that, that is the uh, square root notation. And then for the cube root, we simply put 3 in this area. That's called index, right? And if you don't put anything, uh, it just means 2. So in general, the nth root of a number a is indicated by the nth root of a, and n is called the index of the radical. So let's do a problem here, guys. How can you express a square root using an exponent? How is a square root of a related to a to the m, and what is the value of m? Well, this is a derivation of the generalization that we're going to do in a little while. So that's equal to each other, right? So if we square both sides, because the squaring is the inverse of square root, what we end up with is that a to the first is equal to a to the 2m. In order for this expression to be the same, the exponents must be the same. So we said 1 equal to 2m, solving for m, we end up with the fact that m is equal to 1 half. So when you have the square root of a, it means that same thing as a to the 1 half power. So we're going to do this one in class together. Um, so just hold off your horses, and that's the generalization that we're going to reach, okay? All right, guys. Okay, so we'll be translating between the radical expression and the rational exponents. I have a little typo here, guys. That should be n over m, not m over n. So, so the idea behind this is that when you have an exponent m over n, whatever is the numerator is the power, as we've known in the past, and what's in the denominator is the nth root of a quantity. So in this case, uh, this will be three in the denominator, so it'll be cube root uh, with square. So you express that as uh, cube root of 27 squared. But what exactly is a cube root of 27? That's three, right? Because we know that 27 is three cubed. That cancels, so three squared is equal to nine, right? To generalize this, when you have an expression a is equal to m over n, you could write it this way, nth root of m, sorry, nth root of a to the m, or nth root raised to the power of m. Okay, now look at this. Uh, the second example, you just, it, the letter doesn't really matter. That's the point we're trying to make. So when you have 4 to the 3 half, that is equal to the square root raised to the power of 3. But what is the square root of 4, guys? That's equal to 2. So 2 cubed is 8. And same thing with you guys. Uh, if m is in the denominator, it will be the mth root to the power of n, or mth root of a to the n. Okay. The bottom line, the numerator is the power, and the denominator is the m or nth root of the quantity. Okay. All right, guys. So let's do a quick example. Try this on your own before you watch. Okay, guys, uh, try this example on your own. Uh, pause the video and see what happens. Okay, now that you're back, um, we know that the denominator is the root, so that's cube root of root 27. That should be equal to negative 3, squared is 9. Okay. You could have actually swapped the order, but I think it's easier to do cube root of 27 than it is to do the cube root of the square of 27. Uh, in this case, so in this case, uh, we are going to convert that to the, um, the radical expression. And it should simply be 7th root of x to the 5th or 7th root of x raised to the 5th power. Either one is acceptable. And for C, it's a slightly more uh, different in that we simply express it as 
6 to the raised to the power of 9 over 4. And that is it, guys. So we'll do this, this particular example in class. If you'd like to just try some at home, that's fine with me. All right, let's look at the modeling with power function. Uh, there's this function r. It's known as a uh, Kleber's law. It relates to the metabolic rate of r uh, in calories per day burn relative to the mass of the mammal in kilograms. So this right here shows a typical member of a cat family. So a house cat weighs usually weighs about four and a half kilos. Uh, cheetah about fifty five, and lions are massive at one hundred and seventy kilograms. Uh, just remember guys, 100 kilos is about 220 pounds. So 100 kilos is a size of a, you know, uh, uh, probably a good solid linebacker. All right, so we're going to rewrite the formula in a rational exponent, and we simply, this is the portion that we're interested in, right? Fourth root to the, of m cubed, and we simply write that portion as m to the 3 fourth, and end the way that. And then to find the R value, the metabolic rate for cheetah to nearest 50 calories, uh, we simply plug in the mass of 50 kilos into the equation and put that in the calculator. Uh, it actually comes out to 1480.39, but to the nearest 50 calories, that's 1500. Okay, so it's burning 1500 calories per day. From the table, lion is about 38 times the amount of the house cat. From 4.5 times 38, it's about 170. Uh, so, is the lion's metabolic rate 38 times the cat's rate? If you said no, you're correct, uh, because the relationship between the metabolic rate and the mass is not linear. It is... Um, uh, this relationship m to the three fourth power. So the way one of the ways we could do that is actually find the metabolic rate of a cat by plugging to the equation. It comes out to about two twenty six, and you do the same thing for the lion. It comes out to three thousand four hundred and fifty one, and we simply divide R L divided by R C gives you about fifteen point three. So answer is no. It is not thirty eight times. But there is a quick way to do this. All you have to do was the thirty eight times right. Uh, to the th three fourth, that gives you fifteen point three, and I'll explain this to you later in class. But just keep that in mind, okay? And th there's one more biology example, but we'll do that in class. All right, guys, that's it for today, and have a good night. My battery's getting low, so I need to hook it up. Good night.